Hey there, I don't want to be accused of giving information that only helps those with a lot of money. I think we all start from somewhere and so I want to dedicate the next series or let's see how far we can go but with ideas and investment options for people who have 50,000 shillings and less and this will apply to everybody because each and every one of us um, will have 50,000 shillings or less. So stay tuned and subscribe. This is Rena Hicks and you're on MoneyWise where we create, grow and preserve wealth. So if you have 50,000 shillings or less, one of the things that you can invest in is the stock market. Yes, shares. And a stock market is a place where people come um, to buy companies that are listed on the exchange or the stock market. And you can buy shares in the company, become a part owner in that company with the aim or the goal of making a capital gain. Well, that means buying at a certain price, the price goes up in value, then you sell and you make that gain in the difference in price. Or you earn a dividend every year or every so often that the company issues a dividend once they make a profit. So you have two goals, either the capital gains or the dividends. Now, the thing with the stock market is, by the way, even if you have just 3,000 shillings, you can invest in the stock market. The thing about the stock market is in Kenya, the minimum number of shares you need to buy is only 100 shares, just 100. And that 100 will, obviously the value will de be dependent on the shares you decide to buy. So you, if for example, today you decided to buy Kenya Commercial Bank, you would need at least 4,000, say 4,200 shillings. If you want to buy Safaricom, you need 2,500 or thereabouts. If you want to buy Kenjin, you only need, how much is that? 8,000 bob. With 8,000 bob, no, that's not true. It's 850 bob you can buy Kenjin because that's 100 shares. It's 8 shillings and 30 cents or thereabouts today. So the point is that you don't need a lot of money. Even with 1,000 shillings, you can invest in the stock market. So don't feel discouraged. The point is to start. And you can just accumulate depending on how often you get the money. The idea is to remain consistent. So you have less than 50,000 shillings out there. There's opportunities for you. I'll talk about one more. The other one perhaps is you want to save towards something bigger, perhaps a bigger investment. You want to buy land um, that's a little bit more expensive than the 50,000 shillings. Perhaps you need 200,000 shillings. What you do is, is you invest the money. Don't just keep it in the bank. You can invest your money in something we call a money market fund. And you can park your money there and you will earn at least 10%, say 9 to 10% per annum on the income that you have there or the money that you put in there. So what you do is you put your 50,000 shillings in a money market fund. The beauty about it is that you'll be able to keep your money for as long as for as short as you like. Minimum is one month and you can withdraw it at any point in time. All you need to do is give three working days notice. Imagine just three working days notice and you have your money back and there's no risk where your principal is concerned. It's, you're guaranteed your principal will remain the same. Interest rates may vary slightly depending on how the economy is doing and what interest rates are like generally. However, you will be able to make some money on the money that you invest. And so the opportunity is to put in, and the minimum is, depending on the company, even 2,000 shillings to put in a money market fund. The idea is to keep accumulating the money and keep putting as money as much as you can away as possible. Um, and just keep investing. You can even do it via M-Pesa and you'll earn more than you would if you just put your money uh, in your bank. Um, number three, you can start a business, imagine, with less than 50,000 shillings, you can. You can buy chicken and you can go into poultry, start small, start with a few chicken, perhaps layers. Um, you can get layers depending on the size and depending on the, the quality, 150 bob. Start, you know, getting eggs, sell the eggs uh, and find market to sell your eggs. Um, and it can be anything, perhaps you're a good photographer, but you work for a company. You can buy your own camera, a second-hand camera, good one, for 50,000 shillings. And you can take pictures over the weekend at a wedding, charge 20,000 bob. Within three, four weddings, you've paid your camera back and you've gotten another one. So these opportunities. Maybe you're a musician, you used to play the guitar a long time ago, and you can join a band and buy your own equipment, your own guitar. You can get one for less than 50,000 shillings. You can. And get join the, guitar, the band and have a gig. You earn 5,000 shillings a night. Imagine, you can. So these opportunities out there. The other one I'll mention today um, is um, get find yourself a skill. Go back to school, find an online course that you can do to improve a skill or to get a skill you don't even have. Perhaps you are a single girl, you're young, you're in your early 20s. You can actually make bachelor's food. Very yummy, nice food. 
yeah, gourmet meals that you deliver to their houses. Well, you can send someone, a rider. You don't have to go to their houses. And you can deliver food and you charge them a nice amount of money. Or you can cater for parties and things like that. There's opportunities for you to invest. So don't think you have little money with whatever it is you have, you can start. I know a guy who started with 2,000 shillings and now has a multi, I don't even know what the figure is, but he's doing very well in a tour and travel company in Kenya, helping people have an amazing time on their holidays. So it doesn't matter how much you earn and how much you have. The point is to start and be consistent. This is Rena Hicks and you're on Moneywise, where we create, grow and preserve wealth.